a taste of goodness okay guys welcome and welcome back to my channel this is vanel cooks and today i'll be sharing the recipe for this amazingly delicious grilled mackerel or salmon as we call it in ghana now this recipe is so simple very easy to make and super super quick so if this sounds like something you're interested in please do the needful so we can get to it have you done it cool let's get right to it y'all Alrighty, so getting started, let's line the bowl with some paper towel or plastic wrap to help receive the waste and for easy cleaning. Now adding water to our fish, we'll also go right ahead and add some salt and vinegar or the old fashioned lemon if you have it and get started on cleaning the fish. Now I didn't have any lemon or lime or even vinegar at the time so I just made do with the salt which is perfectly fine. Now mackerel doesn't have any scales so we'll go right ahead and get the fish just like so oh, i don't like this <laughs> get one finger in the opening and get everything out now you can press your finger against the harder part of the walls of the fish you can do that and eliminate as much blood and waste as possible not too much okay don't overdo it <laughs> Now you'd want to repeat the process until everything is done so you can get started on the gills. So moving on to the gills which I feel is a bit tricky because it could hold on to some blood that you might not even be aware of. So as much as possible you want to do this under running water just so you are very sure that your gills are very well cleaned, okay? But if you do not have running water that's perfectly fine, do it any which way that you prefer, okay? But you want to do this until your water runs clear which is an indication that your fish is good to go and you as well are good to go. <laughs> repeat this process until everything is done okay now you want to do the same for the tail area except you don't have any gills there which makes it a lot more easy next we'll go ahead and season our fish with some salt oh that's a little bit much <laughs> and my magical ingredients my green chili sauce and oil now this is an optional step but i highly highly recommend it okay it takes the flavor to a whole nother level and brings a bit of spicy kick to your fish. So, so good, you guys. Oh my goodness. I have the recipe coming right up, so please be sure to check it out, okay? It's nothing like you've had before. It's so good, you guys. I'm not even exaggerating. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and spread everything all over our fish and ensure that every single one of them is very well coated with our salt and chili pepper seasoning, okay? Now, if you're wondering why I didn't score the fish, well, that's because this fish in its own nature tastes incredibly delicious. So the marinade is only intensifying it. Thus, you don't really need to do much, okay? The fish will taste good anyways. So next we'll go ahead and grease our rack with some of the chili oil so the fish doesn't stick and hence make flipping easier once it gets out of the oven, okay? Yeah. Alrighty, so now we're just going to go ahead and get our fish onto our rack and let me tell you, it looks so good, okay? I don't care what nobody says, this looks amazing. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it looks good, yeah, it really does. We'll be reserving the remainder of the marinade so we can go ahead and top it up once it gets out of the oven. So we're going to set this in the oven and using the broil option, grill this for about 10 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you can choose whatever temperature you want your oven to run in and that would determine whether your fish stays in longer or shorter than mine, okay? Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and make some local salsa if you want to be fancy <laughs> or some fresh pepper blend or you can just go with Mekoyirawa, I mean, why not? <laughs> yeah, because we'll be enjoying our grilled mackerel today with some banku, that is what is on our menu today. What would you enjoy yours with? Let me know down in the comment section. So for this recipe, I'll be using some onions, fresh tomatoes, and some habaneros. You can go ahead and add some ginger if you want some kick to it. We don't really need that today. So sit back, relax, and enjoy whilst I make this for you. <laughs> and if my grandma ever finds out I use a blender for this recipe, I'm going to listen to a whole speech on why I need to use an earthenware bowl or a sanka. <laughs> 
Now, when you get this in your blender or food processor, you want to use the pulse option just so you don't blend it completely smooth, okay? That is not the recipe. You want to pulse it so you have a nice chunky consistency, okay? Now, pro tip, make sure your tomatoes are at the base of the blender because you won't be adding any water to this. And so when the tomato blends first, it gives your blender some form of liquid or moisture to work with the other ingredients, i.e. your habaneros and your onions, okay? Just look at that. Very nice, very chunky, and it looks good. Very colorful, right? So it's been 15 minutes now and our fish should be ready. So we are going to go ahead and get it out of the oven. And oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at how good this looks. Look at that girl marks on it. Oh my goodness. And just look how easy it is to turn it over. This is because we greased our rack really well. And so the fish stuck together and it didn't tear apart. Okay. So we are going to turn all of them over just like so and once that is done we are going to go ahead and apply the rest of the marinade onto this side of the fish okay and once that has been achieved we're going to set that back in the oven but this time for a much shorter time that is between 8 to 10 minutes and your fish should be ready look at that it looks so good oh my goodness ah i cannot wait to delve into it right now you guys <laughs> Alrighty, so just like i mentioned we enjoyed us today with some bangku pepper and of course my green chili sauce and it was amazing but i generally use this in all of my soups and stews my oils for dips everything i use this all the time let me know what you use yours for down below and thank you so much for cooking with me today i really do hope you enjoyed yourself because i sure did enjoy the cooking myself until i see you next time bye